the first thing I'm going to talk to you guys today is about our macro environment. Um, and that's basically just the trends and conditions that revolve around the retail industry as a whole as uh, we see them in the current time. Um, so that will involve me talking a little bit about Kohl's, our company and their background. Um, and then I'll also touch on the uh, steeple analysis. So to jump into the uh, company background piece of our macro environment, um, Kohl's was founded in 1962 by, the main, by, the, by a man by the name of Max Kohl. Um, and he opened the first storefront in Brookfield, Wisconsin. And then um, by 2000, so almost 40 years later, there are around 300 Kohl's um, in about 25 different states across the US. So they multiplied pretty quickly in a short amount of time. Um, Max had operated stores since about 1927, but um, it didn't take till he was like 20 years in, so around 1946, until he really got the first idea to um, go out and build the first ever supermarket that the country's seen. Um, but on a more recent note, over the last few years, Kohl's was dying a slow death and their sales were seeing record lows. Um, so they knew they needed to make a change. And that change did happen in 2017 when they partnered with the massive company of Amazon. Um, so basically their partnership allowed for people who purchase things off Amazon's website to come into the uh, Kohl's stores and then return their products to Kohl's. Kohl's would give them their return. And then, so basically through this partnership, it gives the customer's ability to come into Kohl's and return things. And so Kohl's saw this as an opportunity to increase foot traffic through their store and bring in people who otherwise would have not come into their store when they would have just purchased something off Amazon and mailed it back to them from their home. So they felt this was a good way to drive sales through a different segment of their customer market who weren't originally coming into the store. So the last piece of the uh, company background section that uh, I wanted to mention has to do with the uh, mission, vision, and value statements of uh, Kohl's as a company. So um, their mission statement is um, products designed to inspire and national brands you know and love. And then their vision statement is they, vision, they envision to inspire and empower families to lead fulfilled lives. And then their value statement is we put customers first, we act with integrity, and we build great teams and drive results. So basically these three different things are just the cornerstone of Kohl's and um, what they strive to do every day through business and through their interactions with their customers. They wanna bring them the highest quality products for the lowest opportunity price that they can offer. So to finish talking about the macro environment of Kohl's, um, the last piece is the steeple analysis. Um, and the steeple analysis is basically uh, in-depth look of the five major um, factors that can affect an industry. In, uh, in our case, that industry is the retail industry with Kohl's. Um, so our first issue is the demographic issue. And um, one demographic issue that the industry is having is there's a lot of young adults and few young kids. Um, so millennials make up a large portion of this population and um, these people tend to shop online rather than coming to in-store. So as a result, these stores are losing foot traffic and various things that they can generate through that. Um, and then the next issue is the psychographic issue. Um, and this is basically, retailers are faced with an issue of offering a seamless experience. Um, so it is important for companies to be organized and efficient with treating customers, which includes having the same products in both settings, logging, and tracking purchases. So it's most important to make it the easiest and smooth experience every time. Um, so this is basically to make sure the customer enjoys 
shopping at the stores and they feel like they're receiving important or almost special treatment when they can just hop on and they can do their orders quick and they can log off right away and they know everything's in order and they can track a package if they have a question or things like that. And then the next issue is the economic issue. Um, and this basically rev revolves around the economy itself. Um, so the industry is largely dependent on people having money to spend on different things. Um, so in the case of the current situation, our economy is not doing well. And as a result, the money available in it is low. So that means people are less likely to go out to the retail stores and the industry as a whole and spend money. Um, and the flip side, when the economy is doing well, people have the money to spend and um, they go out and they make extra purchases or they're more inclined to spend a few more dollars on different things, which drives the sales and the retail of these retail stores and industry up. So that's one issue currently going on today. Um, the next one is political and legal industry or issue. I'm sorry. And again, this is always a factor. Um, because with the retail industry, it's largely determined by the different laws and taxes and whatnot that they have to follow and how they have to treat customers accordingly. Um, so political factors can take a large toll on the industry. Uh, like I said, due to the restricts, the restrictions that the government can put on certain stores about what can be imported or exported. Um, and this also affects, like I said, Kohl's competitors and even online stores such as Amazon or eBay, things like that. Um, and then the final issue is an environmental issue. Um, and a good example of this issue in the retail industry is the environmental impact of the products. So right now, pollution is a great talking point for people all across the globe. So you have your issue with the rising amounts of plastic and various things that are used to produce products. So as that issue continues to take a toll on the industry, surely over time we'll see them change into being more economic friendly with their packaging and using different biodegradable options that will not make it so that customers are forced to do harm to the environment by shopping at various stores because those stores refuse to make the changes that are needed to keep our environment safe. So that's the steeple analysis, those five main factors and uh, how they can affect the retail industry as a whole.